Welcome to an overview of Iris VR software. We'll be showing Scope and Prospect today. Prospect is our desktop software that allows you to send SketchUp, Revit, and Rhino files directly from your computer into a VR headset. This runs locally on your machine, so right now it will function with an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift. We support motion controllers on both these devices, um, but Prospect also works with an Xbox controller plugged in. Both of these headsets require a high-end gaming machine to run. Um, in this video, we're showing a laptop from Box Computers with a GTX 1080, uh, and this is a relatively portable experience. Once you've downloaded Prospect, you can open up a free trial of our project library and begin processing models for VR. I'll start with this fairly complex SketchUp model from SketchUp Basecamp this year, and I'll drag and drop it into the Prospect window. I'll choose to save the experience and launch it once it's done processing. And at this point, you will want to make sure that you have a headset plugged in. Um, so when the experience launches, it sends it correctly into VR. And at this stage, we're pulling out all of that geometry from SketchUp and turning it into a VR walkthrough behind the scenes. We're optimizing the file for high frame rates. And once it's done processing, it'll launch it instantaneously into a navigable VR environment. For most files, this process only takes a few seconds. Once the scene is loaded, I can view my model in scale model mode, and then I can pick a space to teleport into and then walk through it in a true to scale way. I can also teleport to different parts of the file. I can adjust the time of day so the sun position will change and I'll get an accurate view of what the shadows would look like in that position. I can do things like toggle geometry on and off or annotate or take screenshots. And the purpose of all of this is to give an accurate representation of the design spatially so someone like a client or someone else looking at the file could better understand how the space feels. Our Revit plugin functions very similarly, um, except you do need Revit open to be able to read files from it. So we in Revit have a plugin that sits in the add-ins tab. You can click that plugin and then select a view and choose to send that into VR. So we pull that out from Revit we select our options on how we want to process it. And then it's a very similar process to how we did the SketchUp file. It'll bring you into scale model mode, and then you can begin to move around the file. By tapping O on my keyboard, I can also turn on black outlines. And we found with Revit files, that often helps add a lot of definition to the space and make it more of a schematic view. And last but not least, with Rhino files, we also have a plugin that sits in the toolbar. So you can open up the file that you want to view in Rhino, select View in VR, and then we will also process this file, bring it into the library, and then launch it into VR. I skipped ahead a bit here so you can see the, the final Rhino experience in VR. So that's Prospect. It's available for free to download from our website, irisvr.com. You can sign up and download a trial of our pro tier. And then after 21 days, it will downgrade to a free tier where you can still process the files, uh, but you won't have access to the project library. Our other product, Scope, is a web and mobile app that lets you view panoramas on your smartphone and also share those panoramas with others. These panoramas can be rendered in something like V-Ray or Octane Render, but they can also just be spherical photos that you take with something like a Ricoh Theta. And mobile VR right now comes in a few flavors. Our app supports the Google Cardboard, which works with most modern smartphones, um, but we also support the Gear VR, which requires a Samsung phone to run. In Scope, you can download different images from your Scope library and then tap on them to launch them into a mobile VR experience. Once you're inside VR, you can look around from a single vantage point and you can use the touch button to select different images from your library and view those as well. Going online to our website, you can go to irisvr.com panos, and this is where you manage all of your images that are tied to your mobile app. From here, you can preview uh, all of the images in your image sets, but of course, you can also upload new images from your hard drive by either dragging and dropping them into the upload window or by clicking the upload window to browse your hard drive for those images. Once the images are done processing, they'll save to your account. And from there, you can also click on the share icon on the right side of each set, and that will generate a six-digit code that you can share with others. 
when you give someone that code and they put it into their scope app, anytime you make a change to that image set, um, they'll also see that change on their phone. So it's a great way to manage content if you want a client or a collaborator to see uh, new images or see updates in your designs. You can try Scope for free today by going to our website and signing up. And please email info at irisvr.com if you have any questions about either of these products. We'd be happy to hear from you.